wanted to finally make a video and address all the cheating allegations to speak out about what is actually true. Poker pro Ali Imzorovic has created quite a buzz in the poker community with a remarkable video that was unveiled on Sunday. In the video, Imzorovic openly acknowledges his involvement in multi-accounting which has led to astonishment and disbelief among poker enthusiasts. In this video, we explore his confession and delve into the responses it has elicited from the poker world. After enduring over three years of accusations, Ali Imzorovic has at last come forward and admitted to engaging in cheating practices in the realm of poker. This confession, delivered via a 28-minute video on YouTube, showcases Imzorovic seated before a multitude of his poker trophies. In the video, Ali initiates by taking us back to the year 2020 when the online poker scene witnessed an extraordinary surge in high-stakes action. He openly acknowledges that during this time, he made a grave error by engaging in multi-accounting in online MTTs for a duration of approximately 4-5 to five months. Reflecting on the circumstances, Imzorovic acknowledges the existence of dubious activities within those games including card sharing and collusion among players working in teams. However, he firmly asserts that these factors do not serve as an excuse for his own actions. In August of 2020, Ali Imzorovic's time at GG Poker came to an end when he was among the 82 players who faced bans for utilizing real-time assistance during gameplay. According to Imzorovic, the bans primarily resulted from using Monker preflop charts while actively participating in games. He reveals that this practice was widespread as several esteemed high-stakes players allegedly admitted to using Monko charts on a separate computer to avoid detection. As a consequence of the ban, Imzorabich lost around $320,000 he had in his GG Poker account and chose not to pursue the matter further, recognizing it as his rightful punishment for his actions and accepting responsibility. Subsequent to this ban, Imzorabich made a decision to effectively stop playing online poker altogether and redirected his attention exclusively to live poker. The purpose behind the shift was to allow his skills and abilities in live poker to serve as a testament to his capabilities. The situation escalated drastically in 2022 when Ali Imzorovic and Jake Schindler were publicly exposed as individuals accused of cheating. The allegations had a severe and irreversible impact on their reputations. Imzorovic, in particular, faced accusations of surreptitiously glimpsing at the whole cards of Paul Fua during the Triton Super High Roller event in Cyprus, further tarnishing his standing with the poker community. Imzorovic characterizes the post made by Alex Foxen as a Twitter temper tantrum, implying that they were an emotional and exaggerated reaction. He firmly denies any intentional effort on his part to view Paul Fua's whole cards during the hand in question. Imzorovic addresses the subsequent allegations that were leveled against him which involve accusations of utilizing real-time assistance and ghosting of other players, particularly those with whom he had financial backing arrangements. These accusations emerged more recently primarily due to the statements made by Daniel Negrano. Imzorovic vehemently denies these allegations as well. He states that he severed all financial backing arrangements with other players in response to the controversy that surrounded him following the scandal becoming public. Imzorovic responded to recent allegations of cheating on the US facing site by stating, I don't play on ACR, I don't play online MTTs at all. These accusations prompted ACR boss Phil Nagy to offer a $100,000 reward for evidence against Ali. He remains in disagreement regarding the allegations of using RTA tools, stating that he finds it challenging to utilize such tools effectively while playing online MTTs. Imzorovic asserts that the existing tools lack sufficient accuracy to have a significant impact on gameplay. According to him, the escalating levels of MTTs render the simulations required for effective RTA almost unimaginable in terms of quantity. Finally, Imzorovic spoke about the delay in addressing the accusations. 
He explains that he faced a multitude of accusations, most of which he believes to be untrue. He describes feeling anger, frustration and the emotional strain within his own family. These circumstances pushed him into a very negative mental state, causing him to despise himself for burdening his loved ones and leading him to attempt to escape from it all. Towards the end of the video, Imzorovic reveals a crucial piece of information. He confessed to reverting to his previous behavior and engaging in multi-tabling in online MTTs for a period of almost two months. He admits that he knew it was a mistake and takes full responsibility for his actions, expressing a lack of pride in them. Towards the conclusion of the video, Imzorovic subtly hinted that some of the key individuals who accused him of cheating had themselves been banned by poker rooms for real-time assistance and multi-accounting. I'm not here to call anybody out and try to defer any attention away from me. But one of the main accusers has had a chip EV RTA since 2018 or 2019. One of them is banned from multiple sites for multi. One of them uh, multi stars for years. And one of them was multiing 5K Synagogues for a while uh, back in the day and is somehow now thought of as a respected figure in poker. In his final remarks, M. Zoravich expressed his desire to leave these accusations behind and focus on returning to poker in order to rebuild his reputation in a positive way. Understandably, the poker community has not been particularly welcoming towards M. Zoravich following the release of this video. It is reminiscent of a similar incident that occurred when Howard Lederer and Chris Ferguson issued apologies years later in relation to the Full Tilt Poker scam. Despite their apologies, the poker world did not respond favorably or forgivingly. This can't possibly be true. Chris Ferguson is our World Series of Poker Player of the Year. How are we supposed to handle that? As always, I'll end this video with some words from Will Jaffe. So now a tough conversation with Ali Imserovich. Clown. Guy gets caught cheating red-handed to such an extent that he gets hundreds of thousands of dollars confiscated from his account, doesn't even fight it, doesn't even say anything about it, just kind of disappears. And then three years later, comes out to make a 30 minute video clearing the air. And in this video, he's wearing a orange hoodie, you know, like he's working for Fader Hulse's training site and <laughs> glasses in front of all of his trophies, GPI awards. I mean, it's almost just like, you can't even make this shit up. And he spends about the first three minutes of this video saying, yeah, I did multi-count, you know, for a while, but everyone was doing it. I was just doing what I had to do, you know. Sorry to the people that actually did it right. You know, the three people, Nick Petrangelo, two other guys. Sorry to you guys. But, uh, you know, just had to do what I had to do. And then, the rest of the video, he just starts nitpicking these specific experiences like, on the 4th of June, I couldn't have cheated because I was in a live event. You know, and on the 16th of December, bro, nobody gives a f about the four times you didn't cheat. If, if everybody was doing it, why are you the only one that got caught? And why did you wait three years to make this video? And then he starts f playing the victim card. Oh, this has been so hard on my family. Really difficult. Yeah, has it been hard on your family, bro? Fucking winning hundreds of thousands of dollars cheating? Yeah, like they haven't benefited from that at all. Like it's not been hard on the people you scammed and cheated. <laughs> Saying, and then, oh, at the end of the video, he throws in a little tidbit, you know, 30 minutes in, about how he went to the World Series and then he was in such a bad mental state that he multi-accounted again. <laughs> sorry, bro. Sorry, Sorry it's been so hard on you. I mean, at this point, the cheating doesn't even piss me off as much as the lack of self-awareness and how stupid he must think everyone is to believe this shit, bro. Yeah, I'm sorry, but there's one thing that you can never get back, and that's your image. That's your rep. It's gone, bro. <laughs> Go crawl in a hole somewhere and never come out again.